Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. Today I got y'all another mini story time. So, it seems like that the last mini story time I did, y'all really loved. Like, I got a lot of people who told me that they really enjoyed me, and I got a whole lot of positive feedback from it. So, I thought, might as well give y'all another one, since y'all really like that story time. So, this time, we're gonna talk about a friend of mine who punched his Chromebook and broke it in class. So, sit back, relax, and enjoy the video. So this happened during my sophomore year of high school. As for a specific date, it would have taken place on February 20th, 2020, which was about three weeks before our school let out because of COVID. Anyways, the school that I went to was not your typical high school. I actually went to an early college, which is where you get both your high school diploma and associate's degree upon graduating all for free. To go here, I had applied back in the eighth grade and I was pretty lucky to get accepted and I absolutely loved it. Uh, it's technically a public school because, I mean, it receives government funding, but at the same time, it's also a private school because they don't, you can't just say you want to go and then they have to, like, accept you and stuff. No, they, it's a lottery to get in, so it's, it, it doesn't follow the typical public school. It's more like a charter school if you think, if you think about it that way. It's more like applying to college and, as well. But my favorite part about going to uh, early college was definitely the people I went to school with. So since all of us went out of our way to apply when we were in 8th grade, all of us weren't, were here to learn because we all wanted to be there. It wasn't because the government was forcing us to. And because of that, there was we were all like we all, we were all very close. We were all eager, eager to learn. We were all ready to do work. We all were just re really close with each other. And so, because and it's also a very small school. Like my uh, like my class only had about during the sophomore year. I think it was only like I think fifty people in my class or in my grade. That that that's how many people were in my grade. So it was a really small, and all of us were very close. And um, my school has also because we were so close, and all grades are always so close with one another. Our school has never ever had a fight, which I think is really cool as well. And so, um, as a result of us being a small school, though, if something happens, it's going to go widespread across the entire school. Like, if some kid was to, I don't know, go to school naked or something, that would, like, spread across the whole school and everyone would know about it. So, if something happens, it's going to spread quickly. So, that's all you really need to know about how my school is structured. Let's move on to that day. So, this happened in study hall. Study hall was my second class that day, and it was right at the beginning of the class, so... I, study hall was from 9.45 to 11, so this probably would have been, I think, maybe between 9.45 to 9.50 was when it happened. Anyways, we took our seats as usual, and, but the teacher wasn't there, which I guess she was running an errand or something. I'm not sure where she was. But anyways, I didn't sit at this kid who punched his Chromebook's table, but I sat pretty close to a friend. Or I didn't sit at, at his table, but like I sat pretty close to him. His name's Peter. And Peter is a really smart and very nice guy overall. He also has a very large temper. Like, it is incredibly hard to get mad, to, for him to get mad. Like, he's always so calm. However, this day in particular, he was furious at his Chromebook because it would not load. I don't know if the school's Wi-Fi was out or what, but it would not load anything. This ticked Peter off so much and built so much rage into him that after a little while, he swung the hardest punch he could at his Chromebook. This resulted in his screen being, like, very cracked up. And, like, it was comparable to that of a 15-year-old girl's iPhone screen. Like, like he had, like, completely destroyed his Chromebook screen. In fact, there was even black spots and cracks all over his screen. While it would still be used for a short amount of time, it wouldn't be too long before his screen ended up completely whiting out and his Chromebook being, uh, not uh, useful anymore. Now, of course, we as a class looked over and all of us immediately started laughing, but I think the best part was actually Peter's reaction to this. He took the laughing very well, like, he laughed with us and allowed us to even take pictures of his Chromebook, which is actually what this thumbnail is of. It's the picture I took of his Chromebook when he actually broke it. So, big props to Peter, because if this was me, I would probably have ran off. So, yeah, Peter's an absolute chad for taking this really well. Now, of course, Peter had to borrow a new Chromebook for a few weeks. He also had to pay for damages on that Chromebook as well, which, 
actually wasn't too much. I'm pretty sure he only had to pay $20 to repair that Chromebook, which isn't that bad. But what was really scary is because he intentionally broke his Chromebook, our district actually had the authority to press charges against Peter for it. Of course, it didn't take a rocket scientist to figure out that he had just lost his temper and it was just a mistake and he owned up to, so that never happened. But at least it was taken care of, and after a while, I think that for the rest of our lives, we'll always remember Peter as the guy who punched his Chromebook. And the best part is that Peter probably wears a title too, so even he's on board of it. So yeah, it's in the video. Thanks, for, Thank you all for watching, and I'll see you all later. Bye!